So in this video, I want to talk about differential diagnosis of honeybee diseases. And that, what that really means is, how do you tell when you're looking at a diseased larva or pupae what it, what's caused it? And it's a real important one that every beekeeper must know how to diagnose AFB, of course, because we're trying to eradicate it from New Zealand, and you have to do an inspection every year. But you also not have, you not have to know what is AFB, you have to know what isn't. So what I'll do is go through the main symptoms of the other things that you'll find as well as the American fowl brood. So we're lucky with American fowl brood in that it has some very classic symptoms that make it, once you find a diseased larvae, to check whether it's got AFB or not. So what are the symptoms? So depends on when the larvae dies. Is it dying as a larvae or a pupil? And what you find, well, the first thing you're looking for always are cells with chewed cappings. Now, when a bee's emerging, you see a nice a reg regular um, circle around the cell as it's pushing the cap off. So, so they're easy to detect. Um, if a cell's being just being capped over, you get this very round hole in the center and you look through it, you see a nice white larvae. So that's easy. But a perforated capping means that the bees know there's something wrong in the cell and they've started to chew a little hole in it with the intent of removing the hole capping and removing what's inside that cell out and throwing it outside. So the first thing you're looking for are these perforated cappings. Always just be suspicious of any capping that is sunken down and dark colored because there is something going wrong in that cell. The bees may not have detected it yet or maybe busy somewhere else, but you always want to uncap those. So the first thing you do, every perforated capping you see you need to uncap to see what's underneath it. So, the problem comes, however, when there's perforated cappings everywhere. So you're going to spend all day uncapping them in one hive to find out what the disease is. The risk is just opening a, a couple of those and then deciding what the disease is, i.e. that it's an AFB. And we have a perfect example of this. Where I got a phone call from a commercial beekeeper who said, I've got a problem. They, his staff went out to remove the honey and in three of the yards row was really bad and there was examples of parasitic mite syndrome which I'll talk about later but it also has perforated cappings so they uncapped a few cells yes it's, it's parasitic mite syndrome took all the honey off extracted it put the boxes in the hive treated the colonies when they came back all the parasitic mite syndrome cells with the perforated cappings had disappeared but in each hive, there were a few cells with, still with perforated cappings and underneath them was AFB. And the beekeeper wanted to know, what can I do next? I've got all these boxes in my shed. I don't know, I don't know where the honey boxes that I took off these AFB hives have gone to. How am I, what am I going to do? The only advice I'd give them is in the spring, put them on more hive, hive see which one gets, ones of those get AFB and burn them. What they should have done is if there are too many, too many to count, what you need to do is treat the, the cause of most of them, in this case parasitic mites, and what, they, and what these people should have done is treated, put the treatment in for varroa, but not take the honey off, or take the honey off and mark the boxes so you can trace them back to the hive. When the, when the PMS has, has um, disappeared, you can then do a proper AFB check. So that's perforated cappings. The next thing is what you see in a cell. For American fowl brood, what you're looking for is a coffee-coloured larvae lying flat on the bottom of the cell with its head pointing up to the entrance. And why it's that colour is that these vegetative rods of the AFB are consuming all the tissues and rotting it away. The other thing that you'll quite often see, underneath chewed cappings, or if the bees have removed it, you'll see pupae, and some of them will have the pupal tongue going across the cell. It's very, very diagnostic that that is almost always, always, always AFB when you see that. So brown coffee coloured larvae sunken down in the bottom of cells. Pupae with their tongue going off, but again and again, instead of being white pupae, it's that coffee coloured. Now if they've been there for a long time, of course, then that material rots down and you can get what is a, a much darker scale. But if you're in, and they're a little bit harder to diagnose. The brown coffee ones, the great thing about AFB, if you put a matchstick in the, in the material, swirl around, it'll actually rope out. And that's the, that's the classical test for AFB. Nothing else does that. It'll rope out quite a long way. 
And if you find that, you obviously have to burn it and report it. So those are the AFB symptoms. The other things that you find in there, one is chalk brood, which is a fungal pathogen of honeybees. And they, what you see instead of a, ni a nice shiny larva, you see a cell filled with all these white mycelium. It just looks like a white, and you can take it out and it's quite a hard lump. Or you can have black ones that you see there as well. The difference is, if you've only got one mating strain of the fungus, you just get the mycelium, which consume all the larval and all the pupil tissue, so you get this hard ma mass. Or if there's two, they actually mate and produce spores. And that's the black thing you can see coating the, the chalk brood mummies. So that's chalk brood, very hard mummies that you can remove and they'll be white or black. The next one is sac brood virus, which is a virus and it makes the larval watery. They, tend, they can be quite plump and fill up the cell as the, as the tissues are consumed by the, by the virus and produce all this fluid. And again, they can sink down. They tend to be off-coloured, grey or black. And if you can pull one out, if you've got a pair of tweezers, they probably can't do it with a hive tool, and hold it up, you'll see this big fluid-filled sac underneath it. Classically, a virus that does that, and in this case, is sac brood virus. The next thing you can come across in your, hive, in your hives is if you've not controlled varroa properly, you'll see what we call parasitic mite syndrome. And the classic thing for that is you'll see a larvae not lying on the flap like AFB and um, sac brood, but it'll be curling up the side of the cell. And that's, a cl that's classic for a number of things. And in this case, parasitic mite sy syndrome, all these larvae curling up. What it means is your colony is about to die, actually. Whether you can save it at that point, I don't know. But, but those are what those symptoms are all about. Um, unfortunately, there are also the symptoms of European fowl breed that's not present in New Zealand. And, well, we don't, as far as we know, it's not present. But we used to say that about Varroa at some point. We didn't think it was here when it was. So if you see one of those, what you should do is ring up MPI's hotline and report it, and they'll arrange to get a sample tested just to make sure that it's not European fowl brood. So larvae curling up. The good thing about PMS, if you get a matchstick, you can actually pull the whole mess out with a matchstick, not leave anything behind. Unlike AFB that ropes out, unlike sac brood that's watery, you can actually pull the larval material out as though it was just a dried mummy of some description. We get another thing as well uh, which which looks a little bit similar and we call it half moon disorder and it has a number of things around it you quite often find eggs um, cells with more than one egg in but again you see these larvae that are curling up the side it's a queen related problem if you if you requeen the colony that everything will fix up again if it doesn't because it's got larval crawling up the side you have to contact MPI again and get a sample tested. So those are about the only larval diseases that you'll see in a colony. We have AFB, matchstick ropiness test is easy. We have um, sac brood, which is a virus. If you pull it out, it's all watery. You have chalk brood, which has these very hard black and white mummies. And lastly, we have parasitic mite syndrome with hard varroa levels that looks pretty much the same as half moon and looks like European fowl brood. Um, see if you can pull the whole larvae out with a matchstick, that will tell you. But remember, once you see these symptoms, if they don't clear up, you should be reporting them.